Well, hello guys, what is going on? Welcome to Rob's Arcade. As always, I'm your host, Rob French. And it is Friday, so you know what that means. T-G-I-F. Yes, T-G-I-F. Toes go in first. I'm applying socks and shoes, but... TGIF is also Friday, and that means it is New Game Friday. A little segment I like to do, which I haven't done in a little while, been kind of hung up on trying to uh, actually kind of like wrap up this season of Rob's Arcade and been trying to like hang it up on a certain episode, but I just got to go ahead and push through. I haven't hung out with you guys in a little bit. It's, uh, Friday, new game Friday, not necessarily a new game, but this is a new game in my library. Now, like I said, new game Friday isn't necessarily a new release or a new title, but it definitely is a new title in my library. Most of which come from the PlayStation Plus membership. If you don't have it, get it. Every month you get some free games. I've gotten a lot of cool free games. Last of Us, Detroit, Become Human. Hmm. Always love a little poetry. One of the Batman games. There's just a lot of cool stuff I've gotten from PlayStation Plus. Now this looked really cool, kind of artsy, and it is a side-scroller, which I'm kind of thrilled about. I love side-scrollers. Uh, I'm 40 years old. I've been playing games for 30 years now, 40 years old. Kind of grew up with this kind of stuff. I love the new takes on these like cool little side scroller games here. Now this was um, put together by Team Cherry, by Ari Gibson and William Pellin. We've got uh, David Kazee as one of the programmers here. Uh, just kind of reading some stuff off the internet. I have not played this game, but this looks very cool, very artsy, and very much like something I would have played growing up as a kid. I'm still a kid. I'm still I'm very still a very big kid here. Ooh. Now a lot of these like side scrollers today are also very complex, so I'm kind of interested to see um Okay, you can kind of like chop through things here. Do a little yard work. Here we go, Team Cherry. Like a little like side jump little thingy here. Hmm. Oh, okay. Kind of beat your way through the path there. Now already I'm liking the art. Small little attention to detail here. Oh. Don't let those little guys touch you. Now, I'm not sure what all this stuff here in the corner is. You've got this little like 17 nut cluster thing here. 
little vial of potion. Can you throw things? I would think it was like you should like throw something at that guy. Cause he seems kind of dangerous. Like I said, I grew up playing side scroller games. But even the side scroller games nowadays do not seem as easy as they once were. Uh, what is this? Like a thumbprint? <sighs> Higher beings, these worlds are for you alone. Your Great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Oh, okay, so perhaps that's not bad what I'm doing. I'm thinking like, okay, I'm hitting these things, like all the stuff's happening. Like, okay, so maybe this is... Okay. Interesting. Okay, that little soul dude's filling up. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, I've never played any of these um, Team Cherry games, but this was like ranked like 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5. Uh, about everything I read on this. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Yeah, but everything I read on this just looked absolutely amazing. There was like no bad commentary, basically. <clears throat> Here we go. Oop, not gonna mess with that. Alright, very cool. Well, like, alright, so, so far, oh gosh, like, this seems very much like, um, some of the old 2D players I would play. Alright, what is this hold in focus? Oh, wow. Oh, very cool. So that's what they're talking about here. <clears throat> Get these soul achievements here, you can power up. Focus, soul, and heal. Now, I don't know if I did that too early in the game. Now, this is a game you can also uh, use both the analog stick or directional pad. Being kind of old school, I'm going directional pad, I think. Although, I'm finding myself like going between like a little bit of both. Don't even know what that's all about, but looks very cool, right? That's one of the things. Like I kind of look up some of these games as I, uh, you know, tend to think about downloading them, and uh, I like to watch, you know, some of the um, gameplay on YouTube and some of the trailers and things like that. 
and uh, this this was just a game that like looked super cool. I was like looking, I was like look, I mean just like you know, little clicky clicky noises and very cool animation, very simple art. Little things you might find on doodles. Corner of your notebook. So up. But at the same time, it's very charming, very engaging. Something I don't, you know, I'm so bad at this. Something I don't do uh, with these games. I don't mention the titles a lot of times. I just kind of assume, like, oh, you guys, like, ooh, are watching me play, you know what this is? Hollow Knight with the Void Heart edition. Man, this looks so cool. So alien, very beautiful. Kind of alien, but at the same time, like, I guess it's, it's like supposed to be insects. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, uh, the Eternal Kingdom. Hallow Nest. Well. They asked for it and they got it. Uh, it's a little anticlimactic. This little dude, this little creation. I would, I would actually get him as a, like a little tattoo. As a matter of fact, I may be uh, doodling this little guy tomorrow at work while I'm slinging pizzas. I like this thing here with the little the moths around the lights here. I don't know if you guys can uh, kind of peep that, but there was a uh, moths and. You know, some butterflies in some of the last sequences. That reminds me of like Harry Potter. It's dirt mouth, the fading town. Interesting. I don't know if you people are familiar with uh, Tim Burton's actual um, illustrations. Eh? But this kind of reminds me of a wee bit of that. Madaula Misu. These are little like scarabs, little beetle guys. I'm not sure. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Interesting. Little mapping headquarters here. 
Oh, oh. Well, <clears throat> I suppose uh, this is the well. Pad, but I do find myself using the analog stick just every now and again. Like I said, either one kind of work here. Kind of spooky. Okay, we got some creatures that can crawl along the wall. It's kind of like um, you know, the first side scroller. I ever played actually, uh, which was Super Mario Brothers. Said I'm uh, 40 years old. I'll be 41 in January, believe it or not. And uh, playing video games for quite some time. Very much reminds me of, uh, like I said, some of the very first, first, first video games I ever played. Sonic. Little, like, slow paced Sonic here. Oh, what is this? Talk to you, dude. I don't know what to do with this dude here. Is, and is he crying? Is he laughing? I'm not... <laughs> I'm not... I don't know. That's weird. Is that even for anything? Like, I don't... I don't even know, like... Yes. Yes, for sure. Yes. Cool. Chocolate, like this. I'm sorry if I'm clicking through this too fast. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Let me slow down so you can read. Mm. 
again, like I said, very much like Mario. Ah! Oh no. Is there a jump? We just hold it maybe? Maybe just hold it? Hmm. Oh wait, I can heal right? Oh look at that. Oh, very cool. I'm not really sure, um... Oh my gosh. That's bad. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not really sure, like, what... What's- well, I mean, I guess I thought it's bad, but... I'm dead, no. Wow, okay, so I guess you pick up here at the rest areas here. Gosh, this game is so bizarre. <sighs> Bafanada. Bafan, yes, of course. Uh, Bafana. Small banana. Oh, I don't have any little thingies, right? No, you start off new, you have no little thingies to shop. And, uh, last time I went left, this time I'm going right. Is. I think this would be neat if you could actually like, pick these up. Now we got the map. Okay. If you could like actually like, pick that up, that would be kind of cool to me. But nah. Uh, doesn't really seem even worth it. Ooh, 
gotta be quicker than that. And uh, you know, very much just a button smasher here. In this sense. As well. Just kinda swing, 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 swat, swat, swat. Got all kinds of stuff going on here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't even know uh, what that dude there was all about. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> again, a little bit what I was saying earlier. A lot of these side scrollers today are harder than the ones that I played when I was a kid. Don't even know what that was about. All of a sudden, just like running through and. It's like some bad guy or something. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. I don't really know what this game is about. Uh, don't know what they were trying to accomplish. But it is a very beautiful game. I can definitely see me and my friends investing some time into this and really checking this out. This is almost like um, Eco the Dolphin. To Eco had like a lot of cool hidden areas and just kind of like seeking things out and. I don't know if it makes any sense, but if you ever played Eco growing up, this reminds me of like Eco meets Super Mario meets Sonic the Hedgehog. You do the math. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. I will definitely be doing another video on this here in the next uh, few days here in the future. Uh, thanks for hanging out as always in Rob's Arcade where you are always welcome. Guys, always be awesome to each other, and until next time, do not spend your quarter anywhere else. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.